Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from Ecat Tech. So I just recently unboxed the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. And I'm going to be putting it up against one of the most powerful phones out in the market right now, which is the Red Magic 7 Pro, which also has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. So let's go ahead and run a quick and to the benchmark test to see which of these phones will come out on top. So today I'm going to be covering one of their best sellers which is the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key. But if you use my promo code EGO or EGO, then you can get up to 30% discount on your purchase of a Windows 10 Pro license. So I put up this purchase link on the video description and you'll be taken directly to this page. Now you're going to be taken to this page and without a discount, the price of the Windows 10 Pro CD key is $22.72. But if you use my promo code EGO and apply, you're going to be getting, as I mentioned, a 30% discount and it's going to be a very low price of just $15.9 or just basically $16. So without any sort of promo code, you're expected to pay around $72.88 for the Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. But if you apply my promo code EGO, click on apply, then it's going to give you a very huge discount of up to $22 and you'll only be paying $51 for the full Professional Plus Office key. Now this is insane value for money guys. So in terms of the specification guys, there isn't much of a difference. The main difference between these two phones is that the Galaxy S22 Ultra has 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage while my Red Magic 7 Pro Chinese version has 16GB of RAM and 256 gig of UFS 3.1 storage. Now, more RAM doesn't necessarily mean a higher score in benchmarks because what larger memory does is allow you to keep more applications open in the background. So it's not directly related to your benchmark scores. So let's go ahead and run and to the benchmark on these two phones right now. So of course, you've got the game mode or the game center on the Red Magic 7 Pro and just the game launcher on your S22 Ultra. So in terms of the battery temperature, 29.6 on the S22 Ultra, 30.1 on the Red Magic 7 Pro, CPU temp is 34.2, 34.2 as well on the Red Magic 7 Pro. So pretty equal temperatures, so we'll see how hot each of these phones get for one run of N2 to benchmark and let's compare the scores. So starting the N2 to benchmark test between the Galaxy S22 Ultra and Nubia's Red Magic 7 Pro in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so here are my scores. So on the Red Magic 7 Pro, 1,029,401. In the case of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, it's 933,048. So it's not too bad of a score, but nowhere close to the score that you're getting on the Red Magic 7 Pro. So where does the Red Magic 7 Pro actually pull ahead in terms of the score? So CPU, there isn't much of a difference. 236,000 here. 212 on the S22 Ultra and the GPU is where the Red Magic 7 Pro pulls ahead. 446,960 on the Red Magic 7 Pro while a lower 396,085 on the S22 Ultra. The memory is also a bit slower on the S22 Ultra compared to the Red Magic 7 Pro and the user experience is also lower on the S22 Ultra. So overall on these four categories, the Red Magic 7 Pro beats out the S22 Ultra. But how did it do in terms of the temperature? The S22 Ultra only had a maximum of 37.5 degrees 
degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad guys considering that the S22 Ultra doesn't have an internal fan. The Red Magic 7 Pro actually got a bit hotter, peaking at 38.5 degrees Celsius. So that is telling me that the Red Magic 7 Pro is doing its job as a performance phone because it doesn't try to dial down performance just because the temperature is getting a bit hot. And they both lost around 5% of battery life, so they're comparable in that aspect guys. So now of course, I'm going to be running the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test so we'll see the stability between the S22 Ultra and the Red Magic 7 Pro. A few moments later. So both phones have cooled down. Let me start up 3D Mark for you guys. And I'm going to be running the Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. So of course, this is going to be a 20 minute test. It's going to give us the stability of these two phones in an extended 20 minute test. So starting the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so the test is done. As expected, the S22 Ultra did pretty badly on this test with a stability of just 59.2%. The best loop score is also lower than the Red Magic 7 Pro, which is a score of 2042. Lowest loop, 1208. The Red Magic 7 Pro scored 2610 and a low loop score of 2378 with a very impressive 91.1% stability. So the difference between the best loop score and the lowest loop score is is very small so that internal fan on the Red Magic 7 Pro is working double time and making sure that your phone is running at maximum performance. Whereas on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, your lowest loop score is actually almost half of your best loop score so that tells me that the software on the Samsung side of things definitely lowered the performance of the phone in order to keep the phone cool and to keep it from overheating. So if we go down here guys, battery on the S22 Ultra went down from 64 to 55 so just a 9% battery loss, 93 to 72 on the Red Magic 7 Pro so it lost a lot more battery on the Red Magic 7 Pro probably because it's keeping that performance pretty high. Your temperature only went up to around 42 degrees on the S22 Ultra through a very hot 56 degrees Celsius though on the Red Magic 7 Pro. Frame rate on the S22 Ultra ranged from 4 to 17 and the, and the Red Magic 7 Pro from 11 to 20. So in terms of performance, of course the Red Magic 7 Pro runs away with it. But if you consider that excessive heat or prolonged heat on your gaming phone is not very good for long term health, then you're going to expect that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip on the Galaxy S22 Ultra will last a lot longer because Samsung software is trying to keep it cool and not get too hot. Whereas on the Nubia side of things, on the Red Magic 7 Pro, even though it already has an internal fan that's trying to keep things cool, it still ran to a pretty hot 56 degrees. So Nubia is sacrificing temperature for maximum performance. So if you're undecided on whether you want to get a Galaxy S22 Ultra or a Red Magic 7 Pro, then, then you have to take into account whether you're going to just be doing a lot of gaming. Because if all you're going to do is game, then the Red Magic 7 Pro is the obvious choice. Especially with those shoulder triggers, that will definitely help in a couple of first person shooters whereas the Galaxy S22 Ultra is a more well rounded phone. So let me know in the comment section down below which of these two phones you guys would prefer and I would love to discuss it further. But until then these are the results I'm getting so let me know as well what scores you're getting on your devices. So until then a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification and see you all on my next one.